just finished one of the heaviest periods of competition that I've ever had. I've been competing for seven out of the last nine days. And on top of that, I've had about 15 hours of travel, both in minibus and on a plane. I played really well in last weekend's league matches. I beat Demeter, a Hungarian player who's been one of the strongest players in the Austrian league for the last few years. Beat him three sets to two, and I beat Petr from Serbia three sets to two as well. And just a year ago, he was ranked number 90 in the world. So fantastic play, the best I've played in Austria so far. I was very, very happy with my results. Then, so I had league match Saturday, league match Sunday, and then on Tuesday, um, my girlfriend Danny and I flew out to Sweden for the Swedish Open for the Pro Tour there. I played the qualification on Wednesday and Thursday, and then the main draw on Friday. I did really well to win my qualification group, beating the Finnish number one, Ola, four sets to zero, and he's a player I respect and know that he's dangerous. I've seen him have some very good wins. So I was very happy with my play there. And in the main draw, I copped somewhat of a walloping from the Indian number one, Kamal. I view it as a good effort to make it into the main draw, to get through your qualification match and into the last 64. Yeah, I've been to many, many pro tours over the years and the first few years of playing I'd never made it to the first round so I was happy to get that far but disappointed with my play against Kamal had set point in the first set but went down fairly easily after that you know he's ranked higher than I am and he's a better player than I am but I'm running out of time to have some good international wins against players ranked higher than myself and I need to play well in those situations and and have these wins. Our flight back to Vienna on Friday night was cancelled. So there I was at Stockholm Airport, nine o'clock at night, had a league match the next day at three, had no idea how I was gonna get back to Austria, back to Vienna, and was in a, a right state. Luckily, the airline put us up in a hotel overnight, and fortunately, there was a flight in the morning that got me to Vienna at about 12, just in time to get to Olbevart, where my club is, by two, and then to play the league match by three. Very fortunate, and I would not have been popular in my team if I'd missed that match. I feel that the heavy competition load is getting to me, both mentally and physically, and I felt my concentration let me down at times in yesterday's match. We played a team with two Hungarians on, on Sunday, yesterday. I won one of them 11-9 in the fifth set and lost the other 11-9 in the fifth set. The last point in both of the matches was somewhat extraordinary, as you can see here. One went my way, and the second one definitely went against me. Yes, the last one hit his finger and his racket, which is allowed in table tennis these days. It's Monday today, and I've had nine days of solid competition behind me. So that means being as close to my mental and physical peak as possible, having the adrenaline just flowing through my veins almost nonstop and feeling that tension of competition that you, you just can't quite relax and you can't feel comfortable and content because you know it's only a matter of time until you've got to get out there onto the court and 
fight hard. So the nine days of adrenaline come and gone and now that it's over, I feel flat, low and out of sorts. It's not a very nice feeling and it's times like this that I remember the, the 12 years I spent in Europe before and how tough it can be at times. So I'm taking the day off today to try to recuperate and I'll get into the back into training tomorrow. I've got a tournament on next Sunday and then the World Teams Cup the week after that. So some important tournaments coming up.